Hello, what's up, and what's happening? Welcome back for yet another Miles Dawkins 24 7 production. I have not said those words in a while. Huh, I do apologize for that, but as you know, I've been sick. We're moving. A lot of things are going on in my life, and sometimes I gotta put YouTube on the back burner. Now, this is a Madden 25 online ranked match, and I'm gonna be representing those Jacksonville Jaguars. And my opponent, he's me representing those Tennessee Titans as Maurice Jones Drew gets down to solid inside of 10, down at the 4 yard line. So, it's gonna be first and goal, and Gabbard drives back the pass. We're gonna find Mercedes Lewis. Riding the Mercedes Lewis train to the end zone. Touchdown Jaguars. Now we are up seven. Nothing. So I want to touch I want to touch on a couple of things before I get back into the gameplay. Now, um, me and my man Wild West 17, you will see his gamer tag pop up a couple of times throughout the videos as he's sending me messages because we cool like that. Um, at the end of the day, me and him, we have started an online franchise. Don't really know why I said at the end of the day, but hey, I said it, so live with it. We have started up an online franchise, so of course, if you're interested in that, you can leave me a message and I can direct you in his direction. And then we could get this online franchise going. Now, I believe he has the Cowboys already. So, if you're a Cowboy fan, then yes, it's time for you to get all types of butt hurt. And me, I'm representing those Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, let me repeat that. I'm representing those Kansas City Chiefs. I've already won with them online. So, I'm, I'm really excited to use them. And I think that they're going to make it to the playoffs this year as the sixth seed. Maybe even the fifth seed. Who knows, man? Kansas City looks dangerous, in my opinion. Now, another thing I want to talk about. Yes, I've been dealing with the cold I might have had strep throat but I don't know I don't like going to the doctor's office like that because they give you medicine and the medicine makes you feel like crap even like more so it's like I don't like doing that I believe in you know praying and hoping and wishing that you just get better and hey it seems like I'm getting better as I find black men over there on the post making people miss getting inside the 50 down at the 47 yard line so um yeah, but dealing with the cold, we are moving. And now wifey, that's right, wifey, she is um dealing with like the something is wrong with like her gallbladder, whatever the hell that is. She went to the doctor and then turned out she needs a procedure. And they said it's a small procedure, but whenever you gotta get put to sleep, whenever they, the doctor is gonna cut you open, that's nothing to fool around with. So, you know, I'm definitely gonna be looking out for her, making sure she's straight. You know, and of course, gotta watch out for all three of my girls now. By myself, basically, because she can use this as some type of excuse not to do things around the house. And it, it it is what it is at this point. So, I'm dealing with that as well. And of course, this upcoming week, starting Sunday night, we're going to be in the hotel. Because the place that we're moving in, again, is not going to be ready until about the 16th or 17th. So, we're going to be in the hotel for about a week. So, my online activity, as far as Madden goes and interacting with you guys online... I don't know how that's going to work because you all, all know the hotel internet connection is straight up trash. Huh, terrible. But again, we are starting up that online franchise, so hit me up if you want to know what's going on there. And I can direct you into the commissioner's office. Got it? Good. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is last night's game. If you somehow was not on planet Earth, then I guess you missed it. But the Broncos took on, took on the, uh, took, golly. The Broncos took on the Denver Golly. I apologize. Let me try this one more time. The Broncos took on the Baltimore Ravens last night for the NFL kickoff on Thursday night football on NBC. Now, it was a good game. I'm not going to, you know, front. The first game of the season is always a little bit sloppy. It's always a little bit unpredictable as Maurice Jones Jr. doing it what it does down the sideline. Um... And to me, it was kind of that. In the first half, first quarter, second quarter, the Baltimore Ravens defense looked pretty good. It's almost as if Ed Reed was still there. It's almost as if Ray Lewis, Ella B, Williams, uh, Pollard, Kruger was all still there, didn't miss a beat. But that wasn't the case in the second half. The defense looked out of place. The defense looked tired. The defense looked like they didn't know what the heck was going on. Now, another thing that concerned me, if you that should concern you if you are a Baltimore Ravens fan, is the fact that Joe Flacco looked like a mediocre quarterback. The same mediocre quarterback that was there last year. The same quarterback that they just gave this dude 120 
million dollars. 120 million dollars for Joe Flacco? Are you serious? Yes, he won the Super Bowl in his contract year. His contract was up after the season. But 120 million dollars for this? I mean, the Ravens threw the they threw the ball 65 times or 62 times, 60 plus times, man. They threw the ball more than Peyton Manning did, and it just didn't work out. You got Ray Rice, one of the best running backs in the game, top five running back in the game, and you only give him the ball 12 times on the ground? What in the world are you thinking? I mean, Joe Flacco does not have the same weapons as he did last year. Let me repeat that. He does not have the same weapons that he had last year. Dennis Pitta, he out for almost the season, if not the entire season. Jacoby Jones, he hurt now. Um, you also don't have Anquan Bolden. I mean, let, let's, let's be real. Last year's playoffs versus the Colts, Joe Flacco, he played pretty well, but Anquan Bolden bailed him out there. Then you go to the divisional round versus the Broncos, and we all know that he got bailed out, but not just Anquan Bolden, but by that Denver Broncos secondary. They played God awful. Even Champ Bailey did. Sorry, Champ, you know I love you, but you play like crap too. Um, the New England Patriots, New England Patriots didn't have no chance. They, they, they shouldn't have been on the same field as the Ravens last year, you know. And then the Niners, my favorite team, my hometown team, team I've been rocking with for 25 years of my life because I'm 25 years old. My Niners, they freaking, the second day, Bell Joe Flacco out so many times. And Quan Bolden Bell Joe Flacco out so many times. And Quan Bolden deserves half of that big old contract Joe Flacco signed in the offseason. So the point I'm trying to make is Joe Flacco, even though he's getting paid $120 million, he is not no $120 million quarterback. Like, let's be real, man. Get the ball to Ray Rice early and often and all day, and the Ravens have a chance to do some things. If you're going to rely on Ray Rice, excuse me, if you're going to rely on Joe Flacco, you're going to be in trouble. I mean, you... Now, now let's go back to the defensive side of things. You, you replace <laughs> Ray Lewis with... Darrell Smith. I don't know who that is. I'm a football head. I don't know who Darrell Smith is. I know who Michael Huff is, though. I know who that dude is. I'm from the Bay Area, so I see the Raider games all the time, even when I don't watch it. It's hard to take your eyes off of a train wreck, if you know what I mean. Michael Huff, he is god awful. I don't know why you guys thought that bringing him in to replace Ed Reed was a good idea, but hey, when you're desperate, you are desperate. Now, Peyton Manning and the Denver Broncos, if they can find some type of running game, they're going to be straight. If they can find some type of running game, this team is going to be dangerous. They held the, the Baltimore Ravens to 17 points. And yes, their offense isn't nothing to write home to mama about. But at the end of the day, Denver did not have Champ Bailey. He gone. He, I mean, not gone. He, he was on the, uh, he was hurt. He had foot injury. He was sidelined. Elvis Dumerville, he plays for the Baltimore Ravens now. Uh, Von Miller, he was, I mean, Von Miller suspended for the first six games of the season. And the Ravens going to put up 17 points. Like, really? Seriously? But at the end of the day, the, the game came down to Peyton Manning. Those receivers, they went crazy on that secondary to Ravens. Peyton Manning looked, I mean, he looked from seven seven touchdowns. Seven touchdowns? I mean, I, I, it, was, it looked like they were playing Madden out there. Seven touchdowns by uh, Peyton Manning. Freaking ridiculous. I mean, we had a fantasy draft last night, and, and uh, the dude who's running the draft, his brother took Peyton Manning in the first round. I thought it was a little bit of a stretch, but I thought it was a good pickup. If that's who you want, then that's who you get. And, I mean, he put up, like, 46 fantasy points. It was freaking ridiculous. But let's get back into the gameplay. Been rambling about football and about my life. Sorry about that. I hope you guys were entertained by that, though. So it's 17-14 to 14 here. Maurice Jones Drew gets, out to, gets to the outside and gets to the end zone. Touchdown Jags, and now we're up 24-14. to 14. But there's a minute 52 to go in the ball game, and Jake Locker, he can march down the field and lead Tennessee on a little comeback right there. That should have been at least a tip pass, but I get no love, and that's me first and 10. Locker drops back the pass, takes a shot deep down the field, and that's going to get better away. Get that thing about it here, and now it's going to be second and 10. Little read option, spin move, whoop. No, he's not. Inside the 10, inside the 5, and he could go off the way. Touchdown Titans, and now they are right back in the ball game. You see me, I'm in the onside kick formation. He's not. He decides to squib it. I'm going to recover it anyway. And now I'm like, okay, one first down, and this bad boy is over. I almost took that thing to the house. Shake, 
rattling and rolling back there. Now can get the go get the ball to Maurice Jones. Drew out that gap. He's gonna pick up six. Second and four. Out that gap with Maurice Jones. Drew and he's going to pick up the first down. They're gonna burn their timeouts, but that's gonna do it for this one. Maurice Jones drew 21 carries, 143 yards, one TD. Ravens fans, Raven players, Raven coaches, take a take a page out of this book. When your quarterback sucks, run the ball. I'll see y'all later. Peace.